Welcome to this short lecture promoted by the Interfaces European Project. My name is Lucia Gardossi. I'm talking from the University of Trieste, Italy. Today, I would like to discuss with you the bio-based products for industry and how they are contributing to develop a more sustainable industrial sector. So, Let's start talking about the impact that the bio-based industry and especially the bio-based chemistry can have on the acceleration of achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals, which were adopted by the Member State of the United Nations in 2015, with the ambition of achieving them by 2030. The goals integrate social, economic, and environmental sustainability. And from this picture, we can easily recognize the fundamental role of materials and chemistry in general for the production of safe food, effective drugs, cleaning water, but also for constructed devices for the production of renewable energy or for improving the efficiency of the use of raw materials or recycling them. Therefore, sustainable industry, sustainable chemistry, it's very important for promoting all different sustainable development goals. But uh, first, let's talk about the impact of the chemical and plastic sector. Uh, about 7-10% of fossil oil consumed globally is used for the chemistry and plastic production, which is a quite important uh, amount, uh, considering that the global daily oil production in 2020 has been 88.4 million barrels. So, on the other way, it must be underlined that in the 90s, uh, with the introduction of the green chemistry uh, principles, uh, the um, chemical industries uh, developed a very uh, sustainable innovations that allow to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by about 50% while the chemical production during the same time uh, almost doubles. So, however, nowadays the chemical industry is still responsible for about 7-8% of the global anthropogenic greenhouse gas emissions. And uh, this, uh, imp this impact uh, is mainly due to the so-called upstream impact. The upstream uh, impact derives from the extraction and processing of fossil oil consumed by the chemical and plastic sector. Therefore, the uh, present challenge is to innovate the chemical industry by producing new renewable bio-based products. This will allow to decarbonize our production system and also to go out to the so-called fossil oil age. So uh, I would like to underline here uh, a sentence, a statement of Mr. Yamani, the former minister of uh, Saudi Arabia for the fossil oil, who in 1973 uh, stated that uh, the Stone Age didn't end because uh, we ran out of stones, but uh, just because our ancestors uh, found, deliver new, more uh, advantages as smart solutions. So at the same time, at the same way, also um, our generation will go out progressively from 
the fossil oil age because the research and innovation are now already delivering smart and uh, uh, sustainable alternatives to fossil oil. Uh, but when we talk about replacing fossil oil, let's uh, um, have a look to what the chemistry industry needs in terms of uh, uh, raw materials. Actually, um, the whole uh, chemistry sector relies on six uh, small molecules, uh, um, in, including the aromatics, uh, the unsaturated molecules, uh, and uh, short uh, uh, molecules which are at the basis of the plastic production, like ethylene and propylene. They are uh, um, derived from the extraction and processing of crude oil in the uh, refineries. At the same time, nowadays, we uh, are developing a new type of refinery, the biorefinery. The industries are now working within a new concept, a new uh, industrial environment that can um, fractionate biomass, but also bio waste and other sources of renewable carbon. Um, they can transform even uh, CO2, so uh, very cheap and abundant uh, sources of renewable carbon, and produce uh, different uh, bio-based products like fuels, chemicals, polymers, materials, food, feed, and a number of value-added ingredients. This is uh, uh, achieved by a strong integration of different sectors that involve the, the uh, collection of biomass, bio waste, and all sources of renewable carbon, then the extraction of uh, the uh, biopolymers and other biomolecules from the uh, from this feedstock and then the production of higher value products the whole scheme must follow a, a circular uh, approach so that also bio waste and residues uh, deriving from each step in the production is uh, valorized again within the biorefinery. Uh, most of these uh, processes uh, of um, the new biorefineries are the results of the integration between chemistry and biotechnologies. Um, I would like to give you an example of this kind of integration. Uh, presenting some information on the production of polylactate. The polylactate, or PLA, is uh, a polymer used for the formulation of different uh, plastic uh, objects we use in our daily life, like boxes for uh, storing food or single-use plastic. So, um, the production of polylactate starts from the production of the monomer of this polymer, the lactate. The lactate is a small molecule that can be produced exploiting the glycolysis of different uh, uh, microorganism uh, metabolic pathways. Therefore, starting from biomass, sugars are extracted and then optimized, uh, optimized microorganisms are able to produce lactic acid using industrial fermentation in a very similar way as uh, 
we, uh, our ancestors for uh, hundreds of years, used uh, traditional fermentation for producing, for instance, uh, ethanol and different uh, uh, food ingredients. So once the lactic acid is produced by fermentation, then chemical processes uh, allows for the polymerization of this monomer into the final polymers. Therefore, there is a, an increasing uh, integration and synergies between the biotechnology sector and the chemistry sector for achieving new sustainable solutions for greening our industrial production system. So, at the end of this uh, short uh, lecture, I would like to thank you for the kind uh, attention, but also to acknowledge all the partners uh, taking part in the Interfaces project. And uh, I encourage you to follow the next lectures concerning the, uh, the innovation for uh, sustainable industry. Thank you very much and best regards. Thank you.